Well, hello, travelers, and it is traveling around Friday, and we have made our way into one of our, no, probably our favorite Italian restaurant, Bella Italia, because we have come for lunch. We forgot that they had lunch specials, and we were going to bring you guys back. So come along, and let's see what Bella Italia has to offer us for lunch today. So this is pretty much their lunch menu right here. Michelle's getting her some bread. And I think we are going to go with the Bella sandwich. Is that what you decided? She said we were going to share the chicken, yeah. the Parmesan, and the Bella. Yes. And they are both $14.99 and they come with fries. So we are going to place our order. And of course we start with our favorite up here, the bread and the balsamic and olive oil, and I love that they put the Bella in there. He's too slow today, I'm hungry, so I've already tried the bread. Well, cheers. It's always good as usual. Cheers, I am a little slow, slow today. Some days he doesn't know what he's doing still after all these videos. I do know what cheers. I'm doing. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> but we had told you guys we were coming back here for lunch, and I know it's been a while, but um, we decided to come Sorry, for lunch. Wiggly. It's the new. I hate my new tripod. I gotta get another, another one. I think we, I think Becca has our other one, so we're gonna stop by and pick that up today. But they're balsamic and olive oil you know, and they're just bread. Just between you and me and all of you, for a man that has this as his hobby, he will not, for the life of him, buy new equipment. I have tried and tried and tried to get him to get a different phone, a different camera, a different tripod. I wish I could show you the one he has on. It's like an old like oh, selfie wait. stick. I still don't think you should be able to use it in the park. Here, so I'm going to, I'll take a picture of it's it. It's like. I'll take a video of it and you guys can see. Wobbly and bless his heart. Now I can't even roll my phone. <laughs> Y'all don't understand what I get, what she goes through. Okay. This is our, so there's Michelle and me behind the camera. And this is our little tri, tripod right here. It's not as stout and sturdy as the other one. So that's why there's a little bit of shaking today. So, but that's our little tripod for right now. There is another camera I'm looking at. Doing some research on to see if I could possibly use it. And the reason he needs I one of like the GoPro things that he can put on his forehead. Okay, so I do all the editing on iMovie on the phone that I record with, and I just can't break away from that. I Michelle wants me to do it on the computer. There's other phones I could get with the little um, SB cards. Is that it, right? SB cards. What? Is it SD. the SB SD SD card? See, I'm telling you, I'm. I'm technically challenged sometimes, but this is very job. easy. He does a great job. It comes from his heart and shows. Yeah. I say he's actually getting pretty good. Because the other video we did the other day was putting pictures in for you guys, and I was really impressed. Well, I try. I try sometimes. Doing shout outs. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I got to do a shout out for somebody. I knew, I knew I had something I had to do. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, we wanted to wish David a happy birthday because Kristen actually contacted us um, and said, "Hey, could you give me a, give my husband a little shout out?" And that was David. And they sent us a picture, which I will insert here. So happy birthday, David! Michelle didn't even know about it. I'm showing her now, but um, she sent a great little video. But I couldn't use the little video because of the way it is formulated. Videos, right. Yeah, so. Um, she did send me a picture from Disneyland Paris, which is on our bucket list. So I'm happy birthday, David, from me and Michelle and the rest of the traveling around family. 
it looks like it's happy 21 maybe <laughs> 21 and holding um <laughs> she gave me his birth date but i won't say we that don't, we, don't we won't say times <laughs> or years so happy birthday so yes birthday. we're having a great little lunch here at bella italia it is on its way it's what is that road out there it's um, private owned. Which, family, yeah, yeah. Family owned, which gives it a leg up to me. And we so, still say every nice. every time we come in here, it is just spotless. It's the owners always here. They're a great family, and it's just so pretty in here. And like I said, they have outdoor seating. I showed some video of that. So. More of like, if you're looking for like date night or oh, this is a great you date know, night. a nice dining atmosphere, this is a great place to come. And like they do the Parmesan wheel. We've mentioned that another bit, where they cook the pasta in the Parmesan wheel. Um, the owner's husband, who's also co-owner of this, um, Hence the he's the chef. He's the chef. Husband. Yeah, <laughs> he's the chef. He comes out and I'm does sure it. I'm sure he owns it. As yeah, well. <laughs> maybe. Maybe she could own it all, and he, she just, he just works for him, or like I do for you. Like I just, I work. <laughs> anywho, I'm not gonna disagree. With anywho, no, nah, no. Nah. So anywho, definitely give him a try. We cannot wait to try this lunch, though. Everybody knows 1900 Park Fair is opening, and we have reservations for opening day. I know we never do anything opening day. When is that again? April. It's April 10th. We will have breakfast and dinner reservations. And our food is here. We will be right back. Switch off. And I will grab this one. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. Here, we're going to do a thumbnail. Ready? We'll just do it with this sandwich right here. Or you want to hold your chicken parm on. There we go. Great idea. Yes. Give me a headache. <laughs> Mine looks nothing next to that one. But I know. Look at that. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. I like Okay. They look good. And this one, I think we need to try this one first. It's got sautéed onions on it. I'm good. I'm just tired today. If you guys are wondering why I'm like that, I'm just tired. She's a little tired. I'm telling you, I still think it's the allergies and the it's pollen just, in the air. The allergies are it, We just, And then it got cold again. I don't understand that. It's supposed to be springtime. First day of spring, somewhere around here. I don't know when it was. What kind of ketchup? Ooh, is that the kind? I don't care. Okay. It's red. I don't care. I don't really have preference. Okay. We'll get back to the question I was going to ask you guys in a little bit. But Michelle's trying to fry first. So. <laughs> He's trying to talk. I'm trying to fry. There we go. Cheers, honey. Oh, there it goes. Hot and crispy. I think it might be Michelle's favorite fry type. It's hot and crispy. You want to try the chicken parm? We can do that. There we go. Chicken parm right there. Cheers again. <laughs> Make sure I wipe my mouth. They have the best sauce. I know. It is so good. And a ton of it on that chicken parmesan. You know that's actually Michelle's favorite dish here is the chicken parmesan. Mm -hmm. Every time we come here, she tries to get something different and always goes to chicken parmesan. But for $14.99, this is a really good sub. This one it looks wonderful. Oh, now we're this going is the Bella. The Bella. It has um, fresh mozzarella, grilled chicken, red peppers. Yeah. It does have red onions on it. That's okay, but they're sauteed. And then the mixed grains. They're sauteed. We can take that. that. Right, okay, ready? here we go. I don't know where to bite. That's a big sandwich. Big sandwich. Cooked perfectly, the chicken is. The sauteed red peppers in there. I, I think I like this better yeah. than the chicken parm. Yeah. I like them both, but that is a good sandwich. Yeah, that is really good. So you guys, you know I'm always talking about price. But seriously, $14.99 for this? And it's a very the fancy atmosphere. Here, especially, and I, I think it's everywhere. It's just not here in the tourist district. But we're finding places that you used to go super cheap. Taco Bell, Wendy's, McDonald's. They're kind of not so anymore. And people are talking about the restaurant prices going yep. up. 
but for a meal like this, now you do have tip, so that's a little add-on that you don't have at like McDonald's. But but look at the atmosphere you're the getting. For the quality of food, I think that you're getting, not to knock McDonald's, but it's McDonald's. Here you're getting, you know, fresh vegetables, the fresh bread, yep. like. I think it's wonderful. $14.99 for the fries. And, of course, you got Cokes, but you're going to have Coke prices anywhere. Could have got water. Don't tell management this, but I would expect easily $19 to $21 yeah. for this. So I would agree. You guys need to hurry and come before they raise their prices. <laughs> no, they're pretty good here. So I'm going to ask you the question. I said we had 1900 Park Fair reservations. We got breakfast and dinner that day. I want to know for a buffet from you guys, and you gotta leave it in the comments down below. What do you normally tip on a buffet? That's been a debate in sometimes. Why is, is it different? It, you tip according to your. Do you tip twenty percent? Do you tip eighteen? Do you tip fifteen? Some people believe that a buffet you only tip ten percent. I'm just, I'm just what I've been hearing and seeing. You tip based on your food. Okay. The buffet servers work just as hard sometimes as regular. Okay. We're going to see what the traveling More, family says because I'm also going to put a poll up of this. I didn't know that was a question. That is a question because it's a buffet you're serving yourself. I mean, I think, I think our tip starts minimal, 18 to 20%. Oh, that's, that's our standard. Without a doubt. And we give more if it's exceptional service. And I don't think we've ever given less. No. That's just the standard. Right. So we know what we give. I want to know what you got. And be honest. It is a buffet. We're talking about buffet. I never really thought about that because I just assumed everybody tipped like it was a regular restaurant. No. No. Some cultures don't tip. Some countries don't tip. It's just I know different. there is that issue here locally. So, you know, you guys about the, the tipping. Some people just don't know. Right. But the we standard heard from the servers, they do recognize certain groups and they know kind of ahead of time if they're going to tip or not. Right. So just be kind to your servers. They're yeah, a lot of work. that's all you got to do. So I'll um, I'll put up a poll, but also put it down anyway, in the comments below. My point was for $15 for this, I mean, this sandwich is huge. I agree. And to be like us where you can come in, order different things and get half and half. I won't even be able to eat this, much yep. less two pieces. And it leaves your room out. to have dessert. Because they have the best tiramisu here that I've ever eaten. It's a good one. So um, we're going to go enjoy our lunch by it's still hot. And it's <laughs> and we will be right back, guys. Travelers, we have finished up our lunch. And I've actually still got half of my sandwich left. Michelle's got one and a half. Of her, of probably a whole part because she ate. I ate like a half. Yeah. I ate all my They're chicken palm. Yeah, yeah, big palm. For, for the price. You cannot beat the price. $14.99. Bella Italia, one of our favorite Italian restaurants. Nice atmosphere, nice way to have a nice relaxing lunch. So we highly recommend it. Uh, we don't recommend a lot of things, but Bella Italia we will definitely recommend for lunch and for dinner. One of our favorite places to come. So we're gonna- DoorDash, however you can get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forget to do DoorDash. But we are gonna take the rest of our sandwiches home and have a great rest of the afternoon, and travelers, like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there. He didn't tell you. He didn't get dessert, but I know he's going to Wendy's because they have that new orange cream out. Okay, you're not supposed to tell everybody. Yeah, can't wait to have it. <laughs> but before we leave, we're going to have a little limoncello. This is an Italian tradition, which I have learned. It's supposed to help soothe the stomach. Cheers. Oh, but it is wine-based. Cheers to you, honey. Thank you so much for a great lunch. Thank you for a beautiful life. Cheers to you guys. Ready? I did, and it has been a beautiful life. This is wine-based because they have a wine and beer license, not a liquor license. So everything they serve here will be wine-based. That's really good. It's warm, warm down for me. It's like lemonade. Oh, oh shaking the thing again. It's okay. Would oh you? My gosh. It's still like it's getting warmer. Yeah. Go ahead. I think it should be done like a shot. So. Uh uh. Don't you sip on it? I don't know. I just I don't drink a lot. <coughs> oh, you're driving. You can't. Yeah, I'm out. She can't drink this. But I'm not gonna waste it. So. Now we're gonna head home after I drink all my limoncello. <laughs>